Batu Apatsi means, you know, all of all of the world's water. Water is is life for us. Water represents life. Water is life. See, water is life. Water is, is the essence of life for us. Water is life. Well, water is the next war. We haven't seen anything yet. Uh, the wars that we've had over land, over jurisdiction, over religion, over everything that we've had to fight on, which means everything, literally every aspect of life, they will appear insignificant. Water carries memories like computer cells, which is why when the rains come, say, thank you for visiting. Thank you for remembering, meaning water is memory. So you yourself contains not only your memories, but memories of your ancestors going way, way, way back. It'll never be destroyed. And we will always be with the ancestors. Traditional people who try to prevent this, it's a terrible waste of water. And to them, by allowing that to happen, we are telling our ancestors we don't need them anymore. So they don't come anymore, rarely. Because we're wasting water. We're breaking a basic law. Do not waste water. Because actually they're destroying life. They're destroying the mother, mother of all life. And, you know, which includes water as well, because that's part of the destruction, too, because they're pumping all that water out. And once you destroy the land and the water, you're destroying life, including your own life, the life of your future, the life of your future, the future of your own children, your grandchildren, and so forth down the line, you know. You can't do that. The common theme that seems to resonate in the village is that Awitlankusa, in other words, the earth is drying up. Awitelin, Tsitta, Kusa, Mother Earth is drying up. Not just to us who is here, but everybody around the world, you know, we need water. We need water. Water is what keeps keeps us going um, because our bodies are made up of water. And so that's why um, water is not only important, but um, should be most likely the most sacred element um, in the world right now, you know, because without water we can't exist as a people. We can't survive um, to quench that thirst or whatnot that we have. No access to safe, clean drinking water. You know, whatever it's left and all that's given to the corporation there. They're taking all our water and we're left with dirty water and unregulated water here and all that and then so sometimes we have to travel long distance even though we should, if we suspect that waters are contaminated but we still drink it there you know that's how it is we're having a lot of problem getting the water to our homes for ourselves for our everyday use it's the little kids the elders that's really get affected because a lot of elders they're drinking that water and most of our elders die and so that's what's really happening up there so lots of people don't realize what we're going through up there. Uh, one of the most devastating impacts currently happening in New Mexico impacting Laguna, Acoma and Dene people of the Navajo Nation is off-reservation uranium mining and milling development. Because these lands are located off federal trust reservation land, our negotiation, 
uh, input our uh, free prior informed consent as uh, advised by the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples is being infringed upon because we have no legal right in the consultation process. Therefore, we are powerless in this new wave of uranium development that will impact not only the waters in close proximity to the development, but off areas that are watersheds that flow directly through those three reservations. One of the ways that the indigenous peoples are addressing the water issues and, and other sacred site issues is to go to the United Nations. And um, we're hoping that in this forum, we can be able to be involved in policy changes and to make sure that our rights as indigenous peoples are in the instruments, whatever the instruments are being developed and um, finalized and ratified. We want to make sure that our voices are in there. Not, not, not voices that are created on our behalf, but the voices that are created from us. For the past two years, our organization has addressed the UN Permanent Forum regarding the protection of water and it is an honor to do so again. At this time, I urgently reiterate the critical significance of protecting Indigenous peoples' full, unencumbered access to clean water on our territories. What's important is that Indigenous peoples continue to come to these forums, continue to have these discussions with their tribal governments and with the local communities that they're involved in. Grassroots organizations have to keep fighting, uh, because if we don't, uh, this, this means an assimilation and uh, desecration of our people with their sacred sites, with their traditions and their cultures, we have to keep fighting, no matter how difficult it becomes. Do not give up. Do not give up the fight for water. It's a very sacred thing. It's very sacred to all indigenous people. And um, unfortunately, um, in society today, it's looked at as a commodity and something that can be bought and sold. Um, but it is something that we need to survive. I think as, as indigenous people, we've always known how to go about storing water, how to go about um, honoring water and protecting it. And I would just encourage um, my indigenous brothers and sisters throughout the world to continue to fight to protect water, to protect it, to keep it clean, um, to keep it from being privatized by corporations. Um, also, I would advise um, my brothers and sisters to begin collecting and storing water either in the earth or in or in tanks and to be able to use the rainwater that you know falls so abundantly in some places so um, I would just encourage you all to to keep protecting it and to keep it clean and pure for the next generations. Land is life. There's no alternative to water as you know. Water is life. Protect your water. People are crying for water around the earth right now. And it's going to get worse. This is sacrilegious. It's destroying our mother. So the sacredness of water, the power of water, is what we need to understand.